Super Joe and your skill must defeat the evil enemy army. Armed only with a rifle and limited grenades, your assignment is to rescue hostages and keep the evil army from controlling the world. Commando was released in 1986 by Capcom. As Super Joe, you'll slaughter anything that moves. Your rifle is stocked with an unlimited amount of bullets, and you have an itchy trigger finger, which is good. Pressing the B button, you'll make him fire his gun, which you can shoot in 8 different directions. Pressing the A button will lob a grenade. These are unfortunately limited in supply, but you'll be practically tripping over them as they're just left out in the open for you to grab. One thing you're going to have to get used to is the fact that grenades can only be thrown straight up, and not in any other directions, which can take some getting used to. But seeing as your rifle is free roaming, having those grenades as a fixed attack is handy when things get a little too heated. You can always count on a straight arm lob up the gut to clear a path for you. And throwing those explosives will eventually turn up hidden passageways that can lead you to big points along the way. You can also find weapon upgrades, but these go away as soon as you bite the big one. There's also secrets above the ground, like the super grenade that kills all enemies on screen, so that's pretty cool. While the enemy variety isn't that great, you'll be fighting off swarms of soldiers, grenadiers, enemy bikers and trucks, as well as machine gunners and watchtowers. They're pretty dumb, and you can run around them easy enough. Hell, they'll disappear off the screen most of the time along with their bullets. Not to say this game is a cakewalk, you'll be bombarded and hounded the entire game from throngs of bloodthirsty soldiers out for your hide. The game is roughly 16 stages long and will have you fighting behind enemy lines, crossing over bridges, underpasses, enemy barracks, and machine gun stations, and much more. And don't let the level count worry you. If you're not searching for hidden bunkers, each stage plays fairly quickly, clocking in at about 3 to 4 minutes tops. Between stages, you'll find amusing little cutscenes with Joe eating rations, poking the ground with a stick, or even smoking a cigarette. Campbell's anyone? But I love playing Commando. Again, it's very fast and arcadey, the action is fierce and it's simple and easy to understand. Just run past the enemies and plug them one after another. The addition of the underground bunkers to find extra treasures and POWs was also a nice touch. If you like fast paced action games, to get your quick fix of NES goodness, this is one of the best. I'm giving Commando a Silver Maxi Award. Well done.